Hey, I'm Ruth Campbell, a Microsoft MVP and Security Architect at Threatscape. One of the great features in the new Defend for Endpoint Plan 1 is called Attack Surface Reduction Rules, or ASR Rules. Think of these as that host intrusion prevention system capability. We can't always rely on anti-malware engines to prevent threats with signatures, heuristics and that kind of thing. And this is where ASR rules help. We can target types of operations and stop them entirely, such as blocking office injecting code into other processes, credential theft from LSAS, or even Adobe Reader creating child processes. So let's get into a demo. Intune is really the easiest way to deploy ASR rules to your clients. We navigate in Endpoint Manager to Endpoint Security, Attack Surface Reduction, and we create a policy of the type Attack Surface Reduction Rules. I've got one I made earlier. And if I jump in to show you the kinds of settings we've got, you'll see these are very descriptive. They do what they say on the tin. We can configure most of these in Block Mode, Audit Mode, or Warning Mode. War mode is a newer option that is effectively block but with a user override. Audit mode is useful before production deployment. It's a what if feature. You can use it with Windows logs, advanced hunting KQL, or Microsoft 365 Defenders GUI to see reports on what will happen before you actually start enforcement. In this demo, I'll show you block office apps from creating child processes. This protects against a common attack vector we see in attacks delivered by email to end users. Protected view can help, but you can't always control that, and we want a layered approach to security. On this PC, using PowerShell, you can see that I have no ASR rules enabled. This demo word file is typical of one that might have bypassed legacy email gateway security. When I enable editing, which I'll do so by clicking up here, and then I'll choose enable content, what we'll see is the attack begins, executes, and if I open task scheduler, we are even able to see that in this case, the attacker has gained persistence by creating a scheduled task. All through using Word macros to execute child content. I'm now on a PC that does have these ASR rules configured. Using PowerShell, I can see here the IDs of the ASR rules that we demonstrated in Endpoint Manager. If I go to Word, same file, and choose to enable editing, we'll see that the ASR rules are actually going to block this child process from ever executing. Defend our antivirus client interfaces with Word via AMSI and lets me know there's a potential security concern and that is not going to run. This means even if the anti-malware engine does not recognize the threat, through heuristics or signatures, I have still prevented the actual behavior before it even began.